Hello and welcome to the first bonus round of the first series of Trust Me, where the panel guesses what these are. Uh, so this is, these are the items that we have for our What the Artifact. What do you think that is? What does it look like to you? It might be something along the lines of the, the, the centipede man or whatever that was called, and that would just be the front <laughs> joining. The human centipede. Yeah, 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 the human centipede. So that would be like the frontal junction point of them. Do you know you what I mean? Pl you plug the mouth of the saying? guy on the front? No, 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 no. Underneath, there'd be something hanging down. It's all, it's all of a, of a uh, how do I say this in a nice way? It's all of an an anal attachment. Oh, I see. Oh, here of we it, go. Right? So if you were a male, there'd be other bits hanging down, no? Oh, so that's to cup up his genitals so it doesn't get in the way of the next yeah. person in the, in the human Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no? Yeah. Something like that? I don't know. Tie them all together. I just assume if you're attaching people from mouth to a noose, that you would at least want to tie up the loose ends. So your your first guess is that it's to cup the balls and junk of a person during a human centipede uh, situation. And this is a real picture of a real thing. That's, I'm just, that's my first assumption. All right, hey, Alex, what hey, do you got? Hey, the human centipede is a real thing, so it's not like I'm going <laughs> way outside of what could possibly be. Well, yeah. they are splints for gnomes, clearly. <laughs> Gnomes, splints as splints for what? Like splints splint for, for arms. Splints like for that, like an arm gnome splint and like a little nubby nublet. So the bent one is an elbow. Yeah, elbow. Um, yeah. All right, Ed, what do you think? What do you think those are? Well, pretty simple. If you look at the structure, they're obviously muzzles for baby ducks. Yeah. Right. You got also that because the ducks, ducks nostrils on the top. So if you put it around their beak tie around their head, they can still breathe, and they, uh, they can quack as loud. And then you can string them together and just hang on to them as a bunch. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, you can throw them in a lake and be fine because they can swim. Toss them over your shoulder, hold them in a, in a pack. <laughs> and sometimes you just want your duck to shut the fuck up. Yeah, you can just have them as a group, it matches hanging off your head. of the ocean. And du ocean, the ocean ducks. You don't want it to like yeah. ruin the aesthetics when you're muzzling ducks. Uh, Dina, what do you think? Do you have a theory as to what these devices are? Well, I feel badly that I'm the only one going like the pervert route. Actually, no, Tara, you were a bit nervous. A bit Come on, <laughs> don't feel, don't ever feel bad going the pervert route, Dina. Yeah. Don't ever I, feel you bad. Say dildo, I mean, though, you're not wrong. I mean, yeah. come on. You haven't said butt plug once this episode. I thought eight <laughs> plugs, and then you tie the the black thing in a little bow, like a gift, you know? Like you put the plug in and like then- presenting. Yeah, they, they have to untie it. Like, oh, look at this. <laughs> look at my butthole. <laughs> See? It's got a plug in it. You know what, you know that nice feeling you get when you open a gift, when you get to untie <laughs> <a> bow? <laughs> nice feeling. <laughs> it's All like you feel special. <laughs> You're gonna put it in there, and you're gonna tie it in a nice bow, and then you're gonna show it and be like, "Hey!" And then, yeah, to who? No, someone gets to open it, like it's there. Yeah. For, yeah. So this is really special because last time we did the show, everybody yelled at me for not knowing what it is. Um, yes. The general is, consensus is, is that these are the plugs for kayaks or similar boats, so that they can drain out the bottom, and then we pop, popped out. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Or, or you know, rainbow. Oh. And purposes as well. I mean, they can be multi-purpose. Okay. Yeah, you could play. totally stick them up your butt. Totally. Yeah. Anything. And present them as a gift. Well, You're, yeah. well if you anything can be as anything. A kayak, <laughs> <laughs> if you can stick a kayak up your butt, you can definitely stick those up. For anybody that identifies as a kayak. <laughs> <laughs> well, as a callback to the first Perfect. episode, ever, or the pilot episode, everything is a butt plug if you want it to be. Well, the scorekeeping in the bonus rounds is even less clear than it is in the regular show, but everybody came up with a halfway decent explanation for what those were, 
And since Ed and Alex did it without resorting to butt plug jokes, we'll give them a bonus point. With only one point separating first and last place, you could be forgiven for thinking that perhaps we manipulated the scoring system to set it up that way. We'll see who comes out on top of the first series of Trust Me in our next segment, when the panel settles the age-old debate, dragons or dinosaurs. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a single segment of Trust Me.